Hi there, today I'm back at Coombs Valley to see if I can get any better shots of the birds. So you might have seen my video a few weeks ago where I visited Coombs Valley and I titled that video The Frustration of Wildlife Photography because I was here for about four and a half hours but I didn't really get a really really good shot of a bird so I'm here two weeks later now the leaf canopy will have filled in a little bit so it won't be quite as good but it's a little bit warmer today so hopefully there'll be more insects about and I can testify to that because I've just swallowed one but hopefully I'll see more birds out and about but I know that I'm really going to enjoy my photography. So the leaf canopy at the moment is not completely filled out. You can probably tell from this oak tree here that the leaves are still emerging. They're not fully green and they're still fairly small and slightly curled up. Um, so it gives you a better opportunity to see birds up in the top of the trees because the leaves don't um, hide them so much. So it's still the right time of year. And now it's two weeks later, maybe more birds have moved into the area looking for nest boxes. When you're trying to take picture of wildlife, it is important to walk around very slowly and quietly and really keep your eyes open because it's possible that you'll walk around a corner and there'll be a bird there. Now in an ideal situation, all I would do is walk around with just my camera at the ready um, to see the bird and take the shot. Now unfortunately I can't do that because I've also got to carry the vlogging camera with the tripod and a second tripod to put the camera on. Now somebody did ask me in a comment from my last video why do I take so much gear? Clearly I need the, the vlogging camera with the tripod. Now I suppose I could manage with just one tripod and share the vlogging camera between that and the DSLR but it's still not quite as handy for filmmaking. So it's a bit of a catch 22 really. When I'm taking a video, I need the equipment and it sort of gets in the way of the photography. But unfortunately, that's the nature of vlogging at the same time as trying to take photographs. At the moment I'm just ambling along a path but it's a really good idea to use your ears as well as your eyes because I heard some chattering over in um, the trees just over there and I've stopped to look, watch what's going on and it turns out it's some great tits but I have just managed to get a shot of one of the great tits with something in its mouth. I'm not sure whether it was a worm or whether it was some kind of um, foliage to make a nest but it was framed really nicely within some foliage, so that was really worth stopping for. So I've set myself up on the edge of a meadow um, and in front of me there are some nice trees. One of them looks like it's dead so that'll make a good perch should a bird land on it. But the sun's behind me so it's lit well so I'm not shooting into the sun. Um, now it's just a case of waiting. Now what you won't have seen before is my camouflage cover. So what I've done is I've sat myself very low to the floor, I've got the camouflage um, cardigan on and then I've covered up the base of the tripod 
and all of my legs with the camouflage cover to give me the best chance of blending in with the environment. Now I have just seen a blue tit, um, that was good practice really, just following it around one of the trees, but I'm hoping for something perhaps a little bit more interesting. But who knows, let's see what we get. So this gamble hasn't really paid off. I've sat here probably for about half an hour and not really seen anything. Now I was hoping to possibly see some red start. Um, it wasn't just a random location that I picked. I did talk to a photographer a few weeks ago that had seen some red starts in this meadow and the red start that I saw was very close to this location. Um, just didn't see anything today. So it was worth spending time here just turns out the best that I saw was a blue tip. Now I'm back at the pond where I spent quite a bit of time a few weeks ago because there were pied flycatcher sightings here. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. I'm not going to spend overly long. I'm just going to see if there's any action. Now at the Canada geese that were here, there was one nesting at the other side of the pond a few weeks ago. It seems to have gone. Um, whether they've all um, fledged and um, gone away, who knows. But I've no sign of the Canada geese or the nest now. And it's only a couple of weeks since I was last here. So we'll see what we get. Bit of patience and hopefully something will happen. So I've just left the pond and I did see a flycatcher and a tree creeper. Hopefully those pictures will be okay. I don't know yet because they were quite a long distance away. So I'll have to wait and see what they're like when I get them back in the computer. But at least I've got some sightings and the flycatcher did come very close. So it does bode well for some fairly reasonable photographs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a walker back around the top loop um, to see if I can see anything up there. And then I want to pay a visit to the river where I know last time I ran out of time and there were some um, grey wagtails and a wren sighted. So I've decided to spend a little bit of time on this bench here that overlooks the river. Um, last time that I came, there were some sightings of a wren and a grey wagtail on the river. I think the wren was even building a nest somewhere around the riverbank. So if I spend a little bit of time here, um, quietly watching and waiting, hopefully something might happen. Now in my last video I was talking about when to abandon a location Now I've been sat here for about 10 minutes at the moment and I've given myself another 20 minutes. At the moment I've not seen any signs of any birds at all on the river um, but hopefully if I sit here a little bit longer and stay quiet something may come down for a drink um, and you never know it's all potluck with the nature photography. You're never quite sure what you're gonna get. So I've been at this location now another 15 minutes and I've decided I'm definitely not moving yet because I've just had a really good sighting of a pied flycatcher. It landed on a 
branch not very far away and posed really nicely and then was joined by another male that flew around over the river and actually landed on a bush just by my side but unfortunately I couldn't focus on it quick enough before it flew off so I am definitely going to stay here for a little while longer. So spending time here by the river has really paid off and coming back to the same location within a few weeks of when I visited last time really has paid dividends. I think I've got the shot of the day in that flycatcher that landed in the tree about five meters away from me. It is a really cracking shot um, and it posed really well. So it just goes to show that sometimes you get no luck when you come out, but today I've seen lots and got some really nice photographs. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that video and if you have, let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram account that's at the Oakdale Photography leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my pictures now if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this you can also visit my Teespring store there I've got a range of merchandise on offer so go and check that out and I want to say thank you to everybody that's already bought something from my store there's a link for that down below in the description but you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel you can do that simply by clicking like subscribe and the bell notification because that really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content watch out for next week's video that goes live on sunday oh in the meantime go and check out this video just up here but all that's left now is to say stay safe and i'll see you soon